Hey everyone, this is Baylor, and in this video, it's going to be part of a series, and I'm actually going to teach you how to create a, an MVC, which is a model view controller based framework, and uh, it's going to be slightly based on like Code Igniter and Cake PHP and Akilos and Ruby on Rails. I mean, I, it's like everything I've kind of played around with, you know, and I, I've kind of, what I'm going to take what I like from those, and I'm going to make something. Uh, pretty cool that I think that you'll like and uh, hopefully be pretty easy for just people to use and uh, kind of you know just kind of play around with it and teach you some stuff about working with classes and objects and stuff like that so uh, what we're gonna do is I've actually written the whole thing I just I made like a two and a half hour video on how to make it and I thought you know it's too much for just one video so I'm hopefully I'm gonna try to split it up a little bit uh, I'm gonna kind of show you the way the framework works and uh, hopefully you can kind of see how my uh, my method of doing this is uh, basically you uh, go to the front page you go to index.php and that goes to the libraries folder which has like everything for the whole framework to run off of and everything is pretty much in the core file and we have some different stuff going on here but the thing is like the only thing the only folders you have to edit are the app and the config folders and uh, basically the way you'd start out is you go to the config, you'd edit your roots. So you'd say like, when you first come, well, like for the root of the site, forward slash, you're going to load the welcome controller and uh, the index action. So what that would do is the script would go in there and it'd look in the app controllers folder. It'd find our welcome controller. And here you can see that it's just a PHP class. And basically what we've done here is we've told it this is our welcome controller. And it extends our app controller, which is right here. And we have a before filter function, so whenever this runs, like anything, it, every before we even load our action, this function gets run. And uh, then this method gets run. And uh, basically what happens here is in our index action, uh, it's the default action, by the way. Um, if I went to welcome here, it would run this uh, index action because it automatically assumes by welcome uh, that we're looking for the welcome controller. Um, basically that we do what we do here is we say this name equals Baylor and what that does is in our views in the post view under index to HTML because the default uh, format for this is .html uh, basically what it's going to do is uh, wrong folder and here what it's going to do is it gets that name variable and the reason it happens is because we said this name equals Baylor and it automatically found that it automatically created that variable for us in our view so uh, you can do different things like that. One of the cool things is you can say this uh, render uh, view equals false. And what that will do is uh, it sets it where it doesn't try to render this view. Uh, the other thing that you can do is if you run this as a function, uh, you can actually say this uh, render view and we'll say post index. And that would actually render this index action. And you can see undefined variable post here. Um, Let's see uh, what you could do here. Like what that does is um, what we could also do here is we could say redirect to post index. And if I run that, you can see that uh, we actually got a problem here. And I'm not sure what happened because it actually redirected us to that URL, um, which is kind of weird because that's not supposed to happen. Um, <laughs> uh, we can take a look at the code. Uh, it's probably it's going to be in the controller file, but uh, there's just a problem with my uh, my code right here. Anyways, um, we won't worry about that. We'll have to fix that bug when I get back to this. So let's go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this folder name with uh, the backup and actually kind of start from scratch here. Okay, so if we come back, you can see that a lot of stuff has been removed here. And uh, if we reload our page, we're not going to get very much, um, except for that right there. Um, let's remove all of this. Okay, so um, basically I've wiped everything clean. You know, there's no models, views, anything here. There's no config, and there's no libraries. And the only thing that's really important to us in this right here is this .htaccess file, which basically says that our rewrite base is at the forward slash of the whole URL, 
and that uh, we're making sure that we're not getting a file name with this right here and we're not getting a directory. So if we go to forward slash libraries, this won't happen. And basically what it's going to do is anything that we put in the URL is going to get put into index.php forward slash one. So what that's called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the way you can get it with PHP is by running a um, path info vari server variable. But I don't know if you know this, but in PHP what you can do is you can call a file, so index.php will be our example, forward slash anything can go here. And PHP can access that variable pretty easily by using the PHP um, server path info variable like that. And that actually gives us anything. So a lot of frameworks will really take care to uh, really use this right here, take advantage of it, uh, because it makes it super easy to go ahead and use .hc access. But right here we say anything that's typed in gets redirected to this URL right here. So essentially what we can do is just say forward slash anything, and we still get our anything like this. So uh, that's what we're going to use here. So um, that's really the only important file here. Now one thing I plan to do is I'm a big, really big fan of GitHub and version controlling and stuff like that. And uh, one thing I'm going to try to do with these videos is at the end of it, go ahead and create a repository on GitHub that'll actually uh, have everything like in the tag section, you know, version or video one, video two, video three, like that. So y'all guys, you guys can go and uh, you know fork this thing and play around with it and stuff like that, so we can kind of get a small framework up and going. If it, uh, it, but it should really help you be able to get the source of it. That's really the whole po uh, point of it. So uh, let's get started and actually do this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is in index.php, we need to set a few things to get it started. Um, if you paid attention, you know, if you paused, try to see what the source code was, there wasn't very much going on in index.php. Uh, one thing that we want to do, though, is we want to turn on error reporting. And uh, what this will do, so we'll say this is for use in development mode. Uh, we want to set this to error reporting or set this function to e all. Now what this will do is it's really handy in development mode because it'll help it help you so when you're developing your scripts you can't just get away with like anything. You can't just say echo user because this variable user hasn't been created yet and we'll get a big error that says no it is undefined variable user and it tells you where it was used and what line it was used. So uh, you'll get errors like this, and it really makes it a lot easier when you're trying to find and trying to make sure this is capable of being put on other people's server, because this is as strict as it can get. Every error that can happen will be shown here. So it's really handy. So uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and get our all our errors. Now the next thing that we need to do is it's when you're wor working with these frameworks, it, it's kind of difficult to navigate to different folders because almost everything in our whole framework will be in the library folder. Uh, but the thing is, it's really hard to go back and get stuff from the app folder and get stuff from the config folder and all that stuff. And so what we're going to do is we're going to define a uh, base path. And we're going to say this is um, going to be the real path. and Or I'm sorry, we're going to get the directory name for the real path of our file. So uh, if we go ahead and echo out our base path here, you're going to see a long path <clears throat> that goes all the way from the root of my computer all the way to this folder that we're working with, this nbc.demo.com. So that makes it really easy because when you're wanting to include files, you don't have to say, like, include um, dot dot for backslash. Like, let's say we're in the libraries folder here and we wanted to get something from our app controllers, we don't have to say dot dot forward slash app controllers like this. If we were in our libraries folder, what we could do is we could just say include at our base path, and we want to get from our app controllers and our file.php. So you can see it makes it really easy to do that. And the other one that I like is to define the app path and here we can just grab our base path and append app to it. So now if we echo out our app path, we can actually see we're getting to the app folder. 
Now, what's really cool about this, and what I like about it probably the most, is that because we put in index.php, and in our htaccess file mix to where everything goes through index.php, this will always get run. So we always know we have our base path, and we always know we have our app path. Now, the next thing that we want to get do is we want to create a new file in our libraries folder called core.php. And we're going to do a few things inside of core.php that we'll be using throughout the whole framework. And it's basically going to get the whole site up and running. So well, one thing we'll do here is we're going to include that file, so core.php, and uh, we're going to get that at our base path. And uh, we're going to move into our libraries, core.php. Uh, one thing I like to do, though, is I like to have my uh, forward slash automatically added to the end of it, so I don't have to keep adding forward slashes at the beginning of my thing. I like to just go straight into libraries core. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and so append these, um, these forward slashes. So when we do this, we should get into this file here. Now I realize it's, we could probably get away with just doing it like that, but it's really pretty nice to know for sure that I'm going to get my whole path. So uh, inside of core.php, we're going to have a few things inside of our libraries. Uh, one thing that we're going to know we're going to need, though, is for our controllers, we're going to need a default controller frame, um, object for this. So let's create a new file and call this um, controller.php. And uh, we're going to create a class called controller. And this will contain methods. Um, it contains methods for all the... Uh, the user-defined um, controllers. So uh, what we can put in here is stuff that we want to have, like the redirect to function and render view and stuff like that. We can put that in our controller and our whole app will re um, get access to stuff in here. Um, so let's go ahead and include that. So we'll include our controller. Uh, one of the big things that I want to include here is uh, the SAMI framework by, uh, I don't know his name, it's Ivory Chicken, um, it's his username on GitHub. And I've actually forked it and done a few things on this, but it, it's a really good, simple framework to use. Um, if we just take a look at index.php, you can see I can run the function git forward slash, and that's going to, whatever, when I first go to the domain, and I'm at the root of it, just like here, what it'll do is uh, it'll run this function, and I can do stuff here. I mean, so we can give our, our users path, and it's a really good little um, place to get started with uh, trying to get your um, your URL set up. So we're going to use this framework, um, sammy.php, and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll just get the raw file, and uh, I'm going to create this file called sammy, and I'm going to paste this PHP in here. So uh, this will have everything that we're going to need, and uh, we're going to modify it a little bit to get it working with our controller. Um, hopefully, you don't really have to read through all this, uh, but it, it's it, I recommend kind of reading through it and kind of see what's going on here, um, but uh, it's not necessary. Um, so let's go ahead, and we're done with this window. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to core.php and include that file. So include sammy.php. Uh, right now I'm not using that app path and base path thing. I don't really think they're necessary here. I know it's kind of weird that I, I say it's necessary here, but I don't think it's necessary here. Um, I just really don't feel like adding it right now. Um, and I, I'm, I, I'm pretty certain I don't have to worry about anything happening here. Nor do I worry about it here. It's just kind of nice to go ahead and take advantage of it while we have it there. Um, so, uh, or while I'm looking at it. Anyway, so uh, right here what I'm going to do is uh, we've gotten the controller in Sammy. What we want to do now is go into our config folder and uh, create a new file called roots. So our roots is just going to be a PHP file. And uh, here's where we're actually going to create the roots. Uh, you notice that Sammy creates these functions for us that allow us to go ahead and create our, where, where the path is and what function to run. We're going to use something very similar to this. And uh, the structure that I want it to have is so I can say map 
um, get. So when you go to the forward slash of it, I want to load my controller and the action that'll get that are relative to this. So uh, let's go ahead and create our own class for this mapper. So uh, we'll create a new file. We're going to call this router. And uh, inside of here, we're going to create a class called map. And uh, inside of this class, we're actually going to do a few things. I'm going to take the Sammy, and I'm going to copy all of these lines here. And we're going to modify them a little bit. Uh, first of all, we'll just say these are public static functions so that uh, they can be called the way that I called them here in my roots. So I said map get. So I should be calling this function. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we don't need to pass the callback to Sammy. Uh, because what Sammy normally does is uh, you pass your root in a function, and whenever it finds this root that matches it, um, down here in the process function, it'll actually call it like this. We don't really need to call it, so we're going to remove that. We're going to remove this um, parameter from the process function, and uh, we're going to remove it right here as well. So uh, it, it might take me a little while to get this. Okay, so uh, that'll actually remove it from our map. Uh, we'll go into the court and we'll actually include that now. So include our router. And everything's still up and going. We're not getting any errors. And uh, after that, we'll go ahead and include from our uh, roots file. And here's where I'm actually going to take advantage of our base path. And we're going to go into config forward slash roots. So if we reload, you can see everything's still working. And uh, in our router, you can see, well, I just closed it. You can see that uh, this would try to load our controller action right here. Um, so this is, we're getting pretty close to where I want to go ahead and make a stopping point because our framework's coming together. I mean, index.php sets up some stuff for us here. Uh, we get to act, we go direct to our core. Our core handles a lot of the stuff for this. You know, it gets our default controller. Uh, it gets our SAMI framework and our router. And um, after that, it goes ahead and gets all the roots for us. And uh, the next thing that I want to do is um, go into the router and we'll create a uh, public stack function again. So another function that will be static called dispatch. And uh, this function will run um, runs whenever we actually find out which route to run. So finds out runs when uh, we uh, find a matching route. And in addition to that, it'll uh, go ahead and parse the your parse the. Uh, what it'll do is we're going to find this route, this controller action. So it'll uh, find the controller. We'll uh, find the action, and then what we're going to do from there is uh, we're going to include the uh, app controller. We'll then include uh, include the uh, matching root controller. We'll uh, run the before filter function, which we'll do some of this later. But right now, what we'll do is uh, run the uh, matching action. And uh, then we'll uh, include the view file. So what this dispatch is going to do quite a few things here, but uh, and they're doing it in order, you know. But uh, we'll actually get to these in the next video where we'll actually kind of start doing a few points of these. So uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, hopefully you look forward to seeing the next ones. And goodbye.